Hey guys, if you just got a new shipment of traps in, I don't care what brand, make, or model they are, you're going to want to watch this video to see how to remove the grease. Should have two dozen in here. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss how to degrease your new traps and your cables here. Hey everybody, Papa Rums here today. I am excited. So I'm going to be doing a video on what to do with your new traps when you get new traps and i just got a nice large shipment and i wanted to uh just kind of unbox it go through it real quick but this video is going to be primarily how to care for your new traps because when you get them they're not um they're not going to be like uh ready to go to put in the ground holy cow but got some new traps here I am excited to share it with you guys. There they are. Oh boy. All right. So I got all 24 out and I'm going to pull out my stakes with the cables. But they reek, you know, because they always have grease on them here. And you can see it on my hands. You're going to want to get that off. And the best way I found to get the grease off you can do multiple different ways. Some people boil them. I don't like to boil my traps because when you boil a trap, it could weaken the structure of the steel, the metal. Um, all right, so I'm just taking a look at this. Like, see here, all the grease. You have a lot of little grease. Uh, they're caked, they're protected. And these ones have no rust on them at all. Or before I wax them the first season, you do not have to dye these traps. You just wash them and then I'm gonna wax them. And the only thing I might do is uh, weld the crunch proof on both sides. I like to have a weld on them for a big coyote. They could possibly pull that out. Next box that I want to open up here because I have my new. Uh... Trapping stakes in here. There they are. Awesome. We appreciate your business, Jeff. Well, Jeff, I appreciate you, my man. So here they are. These are the Wolf Fang um, stakes. And I bought a driver should be in there. So I got four dozen because I want to use them for all different traps here. And I'm going to end up degreasing these as well. Yep, they're caked up with grease as well. So it's important you guys take care of uh, your steaks as well. But let's uh, get the degreasing going here. All right, so as you can see, my hands are covered in grease. And I'm going to use Dawn. And the reason why is it has degreasers in it to remove that. So if you look here. This is the grease strictly off the trap watch. Look how black. All that grease peels right off and it, as you can tell, it won't take long to do. What are you doing, honey? Nothing, just watering my traps. They said that if you water them, the fur will grow. All right, so next step, I uh, rinsed them down for like 15, 20 minutes. See that? That's grease. See, with the hot water already, it wants to just come off. So it's not gonna take too much. You can see it on my hand from touching them. Once you get it, you can tell when your traps are good. I'm gonna take that Dawn and I'm gonna be very generous, giving it a lot of Dawn all over this area. Make sure I get all my traps. Go ahead just to fizz it up a bit to get the Dawn working, activated on them. And then run the uh, hot water to fill them up, either one. That's it. All right, so now that it's all covered up, you have all the traps fully submerged. And I think, I think that one's showing a little bit. There we go. That's all the way under now. So once they're um, fully submerged, once the traps are fully submerged, you just want to leave them and let them soak here. Let that degreaser on the silk break it down, uh, down to the steel. So I'm going to leave them from three to five hours. I might even just leave them till tomorrow morning 
And then uh, I'm uh, looking at the traps. The water's still hot because the metal obviously is a conductor, so it's gonna stay warm. If you look here, yeah. the traps are coming clean. The water is brown and all the, the grease is coming right off the trap. So as soon as I rinse them, they should come right off. So now you just want to rinse them out. Do this for about 15, 20 minutes. And that's gonna take off all the top grease and the soap. You want to wash that soap off of them. Make sure you get that soap off everything. But I can see all the oils going down. I don't recommend you doing this because the lines can get clogged. Um, but I don't really want to do it in buckets of water with this many traps. So I'm going to make sure I run a lot of hot water down the drain afterwards. And that should help take care of everything else. Uh, getting it down fully without clogging my drain. The last part will be to, I'm going to make sure I do a hot rinse on them. Right in here, just like this. Make sure I run it real clean, get all of it off. Like you see, it's all the way down to the finish. There is no oil or grease left on these, so they're good to go. That's the finished product. As you can tell, the grease is off. And immediately you'll see some rust that was already just starting to either form or it was on the fact at the factory before it even went over to being uh, sent over. You can see some rust right in there as well. Um, so stay tuned for the next video. It's going to be how to rust these up quick. Don't forget to hit the like at the bottom and subscribe button and notification bell at top. Take care, guys.